than 72 hours after the alleged fight between presidential staffer Charles Bissou and Takwan Suayam MP George Mirkuduka, pictures of the former with his face swollen have been circulating on social media. The trending photos also show Mr. Bissou with a bloodied eye which is forced open. Join news sources say the fight between the two MPP politicians occurred at the Kingston Hotel in Takrade during a workshop for regional executives and parliamentary candidates. According to sources, Mr. Mirku Duka and Charles Bissou have not been on good terms since the latter allegedly supported an independent candidate over the incumbent during the parliamentary primaries. The sources further indicate that during the meeting, there was a misunderstanding between the NP and the regional party executive. Uh, Ina Thalia Kwansa is our Western Regional Correspondent. She joins us on the phone with details. Ina, so what have your sources been telling you about how all this went down? Yes, sir, but so my source says that there was a meeting last Monday where the um, National Executive Regional and um, people were there discussing how they were going to um, search for what in mean 7 December. So it was at this point that Mr. Merkuduka had earlier on raised an issue of Mr. Charles B. Stu supporting an independent candidate who had earlier on filed for MPP but was disqualified. He had raised the issue earlier, but at that particular meeting, he raised it again, he was given a chance to speak, and then Mr. BC was also given a chance to speak. So it was during when he was speaking that it became an issue. They, they didn't understand themselves. So Mr. BC, my source says Mr. BC was the first person to have gone to slap Mr. Murikuduka, and then he also returned with a slap. Uh, it, it went on for some time, and he said, um, fight between the two of them. They didn't know what happened, but before they realized that one of the fingers, the right fingers of Mr. Mrikuduka had been bitten off by Mr. Bissu. However, I have uh, I have an access to an audio. In the audio, Mr. Bissu was saying earlier in the audio that he didn't do that. But when in the audio, the person went on to say that he had spoken to Mr. Mrikuduka, who had confirmed that he indeed bit off his finger. He said, well, he is also have some injuries, and he has also been to the hospital. But he, he doesn't want to come out with any of these information to the public. On the other hand, Mr. Brekuduka also said, indeed, his finger was bitten off. He had been to Jemima Hospital to seek medical attention. What is the party leadership in the region, especially, saying about this incident? Well, but they have told both um, Mr. Mirkuduka and Mr. Bissu not to comment on this, since this may tarnish their reputation, especially when we are in the election year. They've spoken to them. So for now, when you try to get to speak to any of the leadership of the NPP in the Western region, they are tight-lipped. They do not want to comment about this issue. I have seen a picture of Mr. Mirkuduka, and he looks very fine, except that you see a bandage on his finger, which is alleged to have been bitten by Mr. Bissu. Mm. And we un also understand that, you know, the Council of Elders uh, has asked both men not to speak to the issue. In essence, they shouldn't be washing their uh, dirty linen in public. Is, is that the case? Sure, but they've asked them not to speak about it. I have personally tried calling um, some executives, and when you call them, most of them have declined. Most of them are even saying they were not there at cancer when it happened. So it's... Uh, confirms that they have been advised not to speak on the issue. All right. Ina Thalia Kwanza, thank you so much uh, for those details. And uh, that story is making the rounds in the media, on social media and traditional media as well. Uh, head on to myjoyonline.com. There's more news there.